a new video. This is a special video as you can see already it's night time and it's a good time to check out the new Google Pixel 6 phone and how it performs in terms of camera and especially in night time. So let's get started. Can the Pixel 6 even be used in night time? Well, standing here underneath a lamp but as soon as I walk a little bit away from it uh, is it a bit too grainy? I think for the main camera maybe not it should work fine 1080p 60 frames per second but what is with the ultra wide angle so let me switch to the ultra wide angle and now we have the ultra wide angle and I think now it is a bit too dark even if I'm standing under the lamp here so in terms of uh, night videography the Google Pixel 6, I think, no, it's not really a good video recording device for this. Here we have the nighttime photos with the Pixel 6 and this first photo I took in a completely dark environment, couldn't see anything at all, not even the white car here, but you can see the Pixel 6 managed with its night mode to brighten up the picture so much that you can see uh, like almost everything. But if I zoom in, you can see that the details are not really there so it's a bit of lacking here in details and then we have a little bit of overblown highlights here and in general yeah it doesn't look too good but we have to say that this is really really dark here and uh, yeah for this it, ma it managed to make a nice little photo but overblown highlights is a problem with the pixel 6 you can see this also with other photos this one automatically night mode kicked in for some reason i don't know why because i think it was bright enough and what we can see here is overblown highlights even in night mode so what night mode does not do is not keeping the highlights intact and also sharpness is a bit of lacking here I would say compare this to night mode turned off same situation same photo like a second ago second later uh, taken and I think it looks a bit more sharp here because somehow the night time or night mode has some issues regarding also stitching together the various different photos that they make to create this nighttime shot and this is what I saw here but you can see it in other shots more clearly, especially this one here, for example. We have still overblown highlights. You can see here haloing effect going on. We have here, this looks, I think, pretty okay, but here the edges are pretty unsharp. Noise is creeping in a little bit. Even though the sensor is a very large one, one over 1.3 inch sized sensor, we have this noise already creeping in in darker situations. We have this pharmacy sign here completely overblown a little bit greenish here which uh, it wasn't so the night balance white balance has a little bit of problem but the sharpness here is pretty okay and i think also the white balance is okay for this board that you can read without any issue this is without night mode i thought oh maybe i can turn on night mode to get the highlights a little bit turned down but no <laughs> what it does do is you can see it here is uh, it's raising the shadows and that's basically it and changing the white balance a bit to more greenish kind of look and now you can see it has problems with the stitching because we have an unsharp board here or the what's written on the board is unsharp we have uh, here a little bit better colors I would say but overall the overall look the, the flare of the original photo this is more true to life even though it's a bit of greenish here this is yeah, too cool and doesn't really look good and you can see here again the sharpness is not there this was not this tram was not moving it was just standing there so also here still overblown maybe a little bit better than here a little bit better details but still not the best and nighttime has also the tendency not to always kick in, which is a bit weird because it could help in certain situations. But the main problem I have in nighttime photography with the main sensor is are overblown highlights. If you have some light sources like here, this uh, ice cafe, mm, completely overblown the, 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 the lamps here and, and everything there. And if you go to the right, also overblown here. The details and detail level, I think is okay. When we take a look at the cars here, um, it wasn't that noisy so that 
that's okay but it's getting unsharp here already it's like maybe the issue with the larger sensor that they cannot keep everything in focus maybe the issue with the highlights and so on uh, let's talk shortly about the ultra wide angle forget it <laughs> just simply forget it in night mode uh, or in night time first of all night mode is not always kicking in for some reason and if it would kick in it would help but here it looks already horrible with the ultra wide angle but if i zoom in you can see it almost no detail it's like uh, completely washed out uh, noise is there still there's heavy uh, noise cancellation applied it looks like a painting it doesn't look really good uh, the main sensor is a lot better as you can see here so in the uh, in the middle nice and sharp but as soon as we go to the sides we can see it's getting a bit unsharp so either it's just me or my model or the lens itself and this is not nighttime shot because it decided not to do a nighttime shot here it is the normal shot the lens itself the optics of the google pixel 6 at least is not as good as it's very soft on the side in the middle it's sharp only so that's that's one one big major problem that you will have you will not see this so much because software is correcting this when you are in lighter conditions but in in night times this is why i took this nighttime shots you can see also the issues of the optics and this is what you can see clearly here then again over brightness uh, ultra wide angle just forget it it's I just took this here um, to see if there's any dynamic range in the ultra wide angle it's just it's bad you don't see anything and nothing is sharp here and noise is all over the place the main sense is a lot better in terms of noise so you can see there's still some noise creeping in but it has a large one over 1.3 inch size sensor it should good should be good it's a bit unsharp here on the edges and uh, yeah has this nice glowing which is a bit weird um, probably a reflection on the lens so again the lens the coating is not the best uh, overblown highlights here if i digitally crop in it's getting a bit better we still have this this lens flare effect but we have we can read a little bit here already and see that there's text so it's not completely overblown let's stay at the two times zoom to see if it's handling the the, the shots better like the ice cafe shot i think it's also handling a little bit better you can read a little bit better here but still you can see sharpness is lacking and uh, I'm not sure if they're really doing a crop into the sensor or it's a digital zoom and then they just try to optimize the hell out of it because I think I saw already better in, in, in other devices that don't have a dedicated zoom camera but they crop in. The LG Wing, for example, has a lot better than, uh, than this also in nighttime uh, photography. Then what I really like with the Pixel 6, it can still focus in night times or in very dark conditions here. I couldn't see almost all the other leaves, but this one I could see and it was focusing on it it's not getting it 100 percent sharp maybe i was a bit too close but you can see we have the unsharpness here there has a very large sensor as i said so it can focus in in uh, night conditions which is pretty cool then i was photographing here my uh, favorite pizzeria uh, so pizza capones uh, pizza and pasta and uh, yeah it's called pizza uh, in, uh, in in german and i think it was in italian i'm not sure can write down in the comment section how you pronounce the p word here uh, anyway uh, nice and sharp on the sides here still sharp here it gets unsharp this is why i think uh, here as well uh, it's getting a bit unsharp muddy here in the darker conditions noise creeping in then of course algorithms trying to compensate for this but in general i think it did a good job here for this kind of photo then i was experimenting a little bit with the motion blur effect that it also has uh, but i don't like this one because you can see the car is basically it's not standing out so much from the background this is the original photo and i think the original photo that i may that i took here it was a little bit better it's a bit more sharp the car is standing out a little bit more from the background but i thought uh, maybe the motion blur effect here has to be like with me standing still and taking the shot so i took this shot which yeah <laughs> it's not the effect that i was uh, wanting to have but it's also working as you can see here it's a motion another motion where you have the background sharp and the car is moving um and um, yeah it's a big bit big plop here i'm not sure i really like it and why is this open here this trunk i don't know 
Ah, there's another car with an open trunk, okay. And this is the original photo here. As you can see, this, I think the original one is even better than what Google made out of the algorithm here, but maybe I was wrong. Then I took things to my own hands and took, I uh, put night mode on here manually even, so it doesn't say night mode for some strange reason, but I'm 100% sure I took night mode on because this shot of a moving tram was like a three or four second exposure that I did. So we have a nice uh, blurry, uh, moving tram and then I went to the left photograph this one here it's very bright uh, mattress shop that has very bright lights so night mode was not kicking in at all automatically and uh, let's see the highlights I think the highlights are a little bit overblown sharpness is good I would say so as soon as you have a little bit of of, of uh, light then the main sensor can perform well but as soon as we go to the side you can see it's very unsharp the problem with the optics as I said and the low low quality of um, the low light basically and uh, here as well as you can see and uh, the barbecue sign here I think it's okay overblown highlights sharpness in the middle is okay and uh, noise is creeping in there is definitely here some noise and some uh, noise reduction going on it's not as aggressive as uh, it's ruining the picture but it's still the sharpness is not there because the optics is not very good on the pixel 6 uh, ultra wide angle i thought uh, maybe the ultra wide angle can perform a little bit better with this bright condition here um, yeah it's a bit better it's still unsharp in general because i did not manage to catch any sharp photo with the ultra wide angle to be honest uh, Strangely, I have the feeling that this is sharper than the middle and the left. So what's going on there? I really don't know. And do we have the same effect here? Overblown highlights, dynamic range is low. Noise is creeping in, noise reduction is creeping in. I think even the right side might be a little bit better in terms of sharpness than the left side uh, of this lens, which is a bit weird. Yeah, it's It's in general not a good lens, even you have 12 megapixels as well here um, forget it in nighttime in general I would say nighttime photography with the pixel 6 is a disappointment um, granted Google can make like from nighttime daylight pictures as I saw here in this one where you can definitely see more than you didn't you you did see before uh, but um, or you saw with your own eyes a le little less than you can see here but the quality is not there. I would wish Google can update the performance because with the main sensor at least they have the ability to do so. The optics are holding a little bit back because I think the main sensor has the problem that on the side it is not very very sharp which is weird. I only see this with very ultra wide angle uh, lenses usually not with the main wide lenses but here the Google Pixel 6 has to catch up with uh, high-class uh, smartphones because it's not on the same level as high-end smartphones. I want, with one except, ex exception, maybe I want to uh, get out the, the Sony Xperia 1 Mark III, for example, that is not able to create this uh, bright picture, but has better noise reduction, has better sharpness uh, to all the corners with the main sensor at least, is performing better in terms of sharpness and in terms of uh, denoising uh, than the Pixel 6. So even this flagship with a little bit exception mark uh, basically there can perform better than the Pixel 6. So the Pixel 6 is basically yeah, in the ball same ballpark as premium mid-range devices like the Honor 50, the new Huawei Nova 9, though I didn't test out the Huawei Nova 9 yet so I cannot say that for sure, but the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G and E and the LG Wing also. So it's the same ballpark of this. Maybe it's a bit better than the Honor 50 LG Wing and Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G and E in certain situations, but the, the ultra wide angle is the same crap unusable camera for nighttime photography and the main is the only one that is working quite okay-ish, but I would say that yeah, the other ones, it's not a huge difference between the Pixel 6 and those Though the Pixel 6 is more expensive than the, uh, them, so it's it's a bit of a weird uh, combination. So in general, I'm disappointed by the camera in nighttime. What do you think? Are the pictures okay for a premium mid-range device or 
because Google wants to be the flagship Google Pixel 6 and I don't think the Pixel 6 Pro is performing better here because uh, it has the same sensors. It looks also to me like they have the same optics. Maybe they optimized a little bit and have better optics, especially for the main sensor. But in general, uh, this is what my findings are currently with the Pixel 6. Write down your opinion in the comment section. So what do you think about the Google Pixel 6 in terms of nighttime photography? I have to say where they are very good in computational photography, I think nighttime photography, even with night sight, is still a weak spot for Google. And even if its new Pixel device has a new large sensor, the main sensor, it captures good amount of light and can produce good nighttime shots. The ultra wide angle is a disappointment because it's very grainy and they have to do lots and lots of computational stuff to make it halfway decent, but it still suffers from overexposing light sources that are extremely bright or it is just underexposing extremely dark conditions, extremely dark shadows and extremely dark yeah, environments basically. So what do you think about the Google Pixel 6? nighttime photography that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye